Hi, welcome to the more five-minute St. Louis real estate market update for September 2013. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the brokers at Moore. If you'll give me about five minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis real estate market. Let's jump right in with a chart that shows our uh, market action index by county. Uh, I show this for the, uh, the five counties that make up the bulk of the, uh, the St. Louis real estate market. And uh, the market action index is just a quick snapshot at the market that has nothing to do with price necessarily, but really is just uh, uh, an indicator of whether uh, these markets are buyers or sellers markets. The, uh, the uh, uh, numbers on the left represent the index itself. A 30 would be a balanced market, indicating it doesn't favor buyers or sellers. Above a 30 up to a maximum of 60, the higher it goes, the hotter the market it is. Uh, the more demand, the less supply there is, the more favor sellers. The lower it goes down to a zero, the colder it is, more of a buyer's market it's, uh, it is. You can see, as the chart shows, going back a year ago, all five counties were well into buyer's market territory. And then you can see uh, earlier in the spring, um, uh, most of them got up into seller's market territory, with the exception of the, the light blue line there, which is Franklin County, and the yellow line, Jefferson County, was fluctuating. Uh, but then the other three, uh, St. Louis County has uh, been on top, the black line, and then the green line is St. Charles County. Uh, but you can see now, while they all peaked uh, more or less around the same time uh, during the summer, up in seller's market territory, not, not greatly into it, but uh, at, at least into it a little bit, they have all fallen now. St. Louis County is uh, around a 36, 37 and uh, St. Charles County is a little, uh, maybe around 34. And, uh, and really, uh, none of them are in buyer's market territory at this time, although clearly Franklin County and perhaps Jefferson County are headed that way. So within these counties, uh, we also uh, look at the markets by zip code. So what are the hot zip codes uh, in the, this five-county area? Uh, and again, this is based upon our market action index. Uh, the hottest zip code, which has been for a little while, is 63131 area of De Pere. Uh, it's at a 50 right now. Uh, right behind that is Baldwin, 63011 with a 48, and so on. Uh, there I, uh, on the uh, table there, I list the 16 hottest markets. So what are the cold markets? Uh, the number of buyers markets has increased since last month. Last month, this list was uh, a little bit shorter. And uh, interesting enough... Uh, De Pere's at the top of this list too, but it's the 63122 zip code area. Uh, on the, uh, so De Pere's at the top of the hot list within the uh, 131 area and at the top of the cold list in the 122 area with a 21. And then you can see it goes from there. Uh, I show the 13 uh, areas of St. Louis, the zip codes that are in buyer's market territory at this time. So what are home prices doing? Uh, and number of sales. In the past year, uh, you can see here for this five county area as a whole, uh, the blue uh, bars represent sales and you can see the number of sales uh, was very strong in August. In fact, out, uh, uh, outpacing, um, or not outpacing, but outdoing uh, 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 July. And there were about thir just a, one under 3,500, 3,499 sales in this five county area in August, uh, which surpasses uh, July's 3,436. If you look back at a year ago, the uh, the bar all the way to the left, uh, there was 3,064 sales then. So you can see sales were uh, a solid uh, 11, 12% higher than a year ago. The green line represents average price, and the average price for August was 173,900, up uh, from 163,000 a year ago. Now let's look at uh, median uh, sales price, which is going to be lower than the average sales price, and then also the median time it's taken for homes to sell. Red line is the median time to sell. You can see that has dropped significantly from uh, over 60 days a year ago down to uh, slightly below 50 days now, and the yellow line shows that median prices uh, peaked over the uh, mid part of the summer, and they have uh, uh, fallen off just a little bit since then. Uh, this here is what I call my realtor scorecard. This shows uh, how well uh, realtors are doing educating sellers and getting homes priced at the right uh, price to start with. The yellow line uh, represents the ratio of the sales price to list price at the time of sale. 
So what it was listed for at the time it actually sold, and that's been running pretty steady, 97, almost 98 percent. But the red line is when it really tells the story. Uh, what did the house sell for versus what it was originally listed for? Uh, that was uh, below 94 percent a year ago, hit a low of about 93, and is up to about 95 and a half right now. So definitely doing better. Our uh, inventory uh, for the five county area has dropped. We've uh, had about a six month supply a year ago, about a five month supply today. And this is a, a 10 year look at uh, uh, median prices, uh, list prices, and sold prices for this five county area. The blue lines, the list prices, and green sold. And you can see sales prices for the five county area as a whole is just about, uh, they're back to about where they were 10 years ago. And there you go, there's our uh, quick look at the market. Uh, on the left there, you see uh, St. Louis Real Estate Search. That's our uh, uh, our uh, one of our real estate search sites and one of St. Louis's uh, most popular. Scan the QR code on your right for uh, a whole bunch of more resources, a whole bunch of additional resources, I should say. There's the legal stuff and the disclaimer. And there you have it. Until next month, I hope you have a, a great month, and God bless you.